Mark Lamar. It's a rock and roll heaven. Hello, I'm Mark Lamar. This is Shake Rattle and Roll. And uh, well, guess what the theme is? We started off with rock and roll record girl, and then rock and roll with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been putting my mind to it. It's a rock and roll show tonight. Everything in the show has got rock and roll in the title. Uh, the first track we played, rock and roll record girl, a sort of rocked up version of the Chattanooga Shoe Shine Boy by Bobby Poe and the Poe Cats. 
And if, now, if you're in a band and your surname's Poe, don't name your band after you. Call them something else. I think that was Big Al Downing doing the Little Richard impression on that. Maybe the, the Downing Cats, now that's no good, but the Poe Cats. Hmm. That's the same band who played on those great Wonder Jackson records a little bit later on. And then we had Rock and Roll Rhythm by Mickey Hawks. And what was his band called? The Night Raiders. That's the fellas. Maybe that would be better. Bobby Poe and the Poe Raiders. Mmm, bad start. Okay, everything on the show tonight is rock and roll based, and here's a couple of dance floor classics. Starting off with Andy Starr with Rock and Rolling Stone. Hey, rock, 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 hey, rock, 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 and just a rock, 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 rolling stone, and just a rock, 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 and stone, and just a rock, 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 rolling stone, and just a rock, rock, and stone, and just a rock, and rolling, jumping crazy stone. We're rolling stone, forget the no moss they say. I rolling stone, forget the no moss they say. Well, I keep rolling, you can throw your moss away. And Mr. Rockin', a rolling stone, and Mr. Rollin', rockin' a stone, and Mr. Rockin', rolling stone, and Mr. Rollin'. Rockin' the stone, and just a rockin', the rollin', jumpin' crazy stone. I learned how to jump from a bean in Mexico. I keep a jumping, it's a crazy thing, I know. I'm just a rockin', a rollin' stone, I'm just a rollin'. Rockin' stone, I'm just a rockin', a rollin' stone, I'm just a rollin'. Rockin' stone, I'm just a rockin', a rollin', jumpin', crazy stone.
when I was a young man. You, you couldn't go to a rock and roll club without hearing both of those. Not always in a row, but that was Andy Starr with Rockin' Rolling Stone and Tommy Cassell with Rockin' Rock and a Rolling Stone. I'm not sure if they still play those records. I'm sure they do. The rock and roll clubs do tend to play the same ones for many years on end. That was back in the days, of course, when I was called Crazy Legs Lamar, always ripping up the dance floor. Um, then I found out years later that Crazy Legs, you could also call someone that who was good at dancing, which came as quite a shock. Anyway, the next two, no real link apart from the title. First one's from St. Louis, the second one's from Memphis. Jules Blattner with Rock and Roll Blues. Well, Kathy goes with Bob, Millie goes with Jack. They went down a lover lane and never coming back to Well, everybody's got the news. Mm, now everybody's dancing and dancing to the rock and roll blues. They knew just what to do because they got it Well, everybody's got the news Well, everybody's dancing and dancing to the rock and roll blues Well, I went down to the corner, saw my baby there Said, hey, baby, don't you be no square because they got it Well, everybody's got the news Well, everybody's dancing and dancing to the rock and roll blues So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's available or anything else, but the uh, album I've got on. That was Travis Wamack trying his best to sound like he was, I don't know, older than 12 or something with Rock and Roll Blues. Travis Wamack also went on to record loads of great guitar instrumentals in the early to mid 60s. And before that, we had Jules Blatner, wasn't it, with Rock and Roll Blues doing his best there to sound like Gene Vincent, as he often did on record. The next track also wasn't, well, I'm not sure about the Travis Wamack, but the next one certainly wasn't the monotones with What Would You Do If There Wasn't Any Rock and Roll? Yeah. 
track that was but if you've got the savage kick album that that's on it says sir rich and the spanking club which is obviously some in joke done by the compiler so actually the five jades on duke records and before that was the monotones with what would you do if there wasn't any rock and roll the next couple i'm going to play uh, i suppose they're sort of rockabilly but the country side of rockabilly and both beautiful tracks curtis gordon with rock roll jump and jive hey get your partner get on the floor everybody ready gonna rock some more we're gonna rock we're going to jive, we're going to rock and roll, jump and jive tonight. Well, this crazy rhythm, it can't be beat. When it starts, you shuffle your feet. There's a couple on the floor. I bleed my 
soul, they're 90 years old. They're gonna rock, they're gonna roll, they're gonna jump, they're gonna jive, they're gonna rock and roll, jump and jive tonight. Hello, fighter now. Out again, you started the hips and you shake it on down. Swing your baby round, round, round. You're gonna rock, you're gonna roll, you're gonna jump, you're gonna jive, you're gonna rock and roll, jump and jive and die. Everybody now. Stop, nobody leave, we're gonna rock, 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 we're gonna rock, we're gonna roll, we're gonna jump, we're gonna jive, we're gonna rock and roll, jump and jive tonight. from the Meteor Rockabilly's album, which is superb, one of the must-have Rockabilly compilations, because that's the only record I actually own on Meteor, is that record, and I was just looking for some facts about Wayne McGuinness, and there aren't any, which is a shame, because normally Ace do a fantastic job on their sleeve notes, but there's nothing there, maybe no one knows. That was Rock, Roll and Rhythm by Wayne McGuinness from Meteor Rockabilly's, and before that, we had Curtis Gordon with another track that wasn't actually released in the 50s, Rock, Roll, Jump and Jive, and again, seems incredible, because it's become such a classic, and that's from a Bear Family CD of uh, his Mercury and RCA stuff, I think, play the music loud. He does exactly the same guitar break in that as in virtually every other Rockabilly record he made at the time. In the second half of the show, an excellent competition again, and again, thanks to Ace, Long Gone Daddies, which is stuff from the Kent Modern Four Star Flare... Yeah, that group of labels, the RPM group of labels, basically. Mostly Rockabilly, although I'm not going to play any of the Rockabilly on it, but just superb stuff from the West Coast, so I'll be doing that in about, I don't know, ten minutes or so. And the final track in this half of the show, Champion Jack Dupree. Not... Well, it's good old time rock and roll, but basically, it's a sort of quite a lazy update of Pine Top's Boogie Woogie. This is Champion Jack with old time rock and roll. Nice. 
the disc jockey just heard this. And they don't know what to think of it. But when I say stop, I want everybody to stop. All right, now hold it. Really, even a song. Champion Jack Dupree with old time rock and roll, him doing a bit of uh, New Orleans barrel house and just shouting over the top of it. And that was from an album I sadly deleted Champion Jack Dupree, Shake Baby Shake, stuff that he did for Groove and Vic on the Great Detour label, which is uh, sadly no longer with us. And if you want details of any of the music played on the program, the Radio 2 information line is 08700 100 200. That's the best place to go, probably, and national call rates apply on that one. 08700 100 200, or on a bi weekly basis, or no, on a daily basis, on an all time. 24 hour a day basis, but for two weeks we have the track listing of the show on the website, which is www.bbc.co.uk slash radio 2. For this is 88 to 91 FM, Radio 2 from the BBC. Well, it's a Saturday night, the place is quiet. The people get going at past me. The rock and roll ride. Rock and roll ride. Rock and roll ride. Rock and roll ride. The rock and roll ride. It's a rock and roll ride. While it's a place in the corner where we're going to dance. While it's a place they call it out dance. It's a rock and roll ride. 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 It's a rock and roll ride.
decide when you're going to end, will you? Absolutely perfect, unimpeachable, sublime rockabilly there. The Stoltz Brothers with Rock and Roll Rise. This is Mark Lamar. You're listening to Shake Rattle and Roll on Radio 2. And tonight's theme is titles with uh, rock and roll in the title. Apart from the next ones. Well, I'm getting confused now. This week's competition and this week's four in a row are from a, a superb compilation on Ace called Long Gone Daddies, which is, it says Rockabilly and Rock and Roll from the modern label. There's a great deal of fantastic rhythm and blues, and that's the four tracks I've chosen. I'll think of a question while well, we hear these. We're starting off with, is this an unissued one? That's certainly one I didn't know before, yeah. And there's quite a few tracks on here that I hadn't heard before, some of which, obviously, because they were unissued. This is Van Robinson with Bases of Rock and Roll. <laughs> Don't. 
the jukebox Hear a Cajun band Ain't you glad you came along, boy To the land of dreams On old Route 90 On the New Orleans That she can do that'll make you do what she wants you to do. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have a little mercy on me. Mercy caught me with a chick last night. Boy, we had a terrible fight. She almost knocked me out of sight. I'd like to doubt my friends from natural fight. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have mercy, Miss Mercy. Have a little mercy on me. She knocked me down and she blacked my eye She kicked me in the nose cause I told a lie I said, baby, why, oh, why, oh, why She said, shut up, man, before you tell another lie Have mercy, Miss Mercy Have mercy, Miss Mercy Have mercy, Miss Mercy Have a little mercy on me I jumped up and I made a pass But I slipped and fell trying to run too fast I screamed and cried I got on my knees and said, baby, baby Please, please, please Have mercy, Miss Mercy Have mercy, Miss Mercy Like Percy, you better leave all the women alone and give all your love to Percy and to her and her alone. Have mercy, Miss Percy. Have mercy, Miss Percy. Have mercy, Miss Percy. Have a little mercy on me. Ooh, mercy, Miss Percy. Ooh, mercy, Miss Percy.
Yeah, it's incredible to think that that record, Long Tall Marvin, is the same bloke who was in Marvin and Johnny, who did those beautiful, sweet harmony ballads. That was Long Tall Marvin, which, I, you know, if I was in a bar, I think I'd order. Ah, oh, Long Tall Marvin, please. Uh, we started off with Bases of Rock and Roll by Van Robinson, which apparently is rock and roll. That's the Bases of Rock and Roll. And then we had Clarence Garlow with Route 90 down in New Orleans, which reminds me, next week's show is This Session's New Orleans Go. And then we had Big Duke with Baby Beat It, which, uh, foolishly, I should have saved for another show, because it is, well, he's trying to be Joe Turner, and it is sort of an answer record, follow-up record to Honey Hush. And then finally, Long Tall Marvin doing his best little Richard with Have Mercy Miss Percy. All from uh, a CD, which I'm sure I'm going to be coming back to many, many times over this and uh, forthcoming series. Have we got more series after this one? I don't know, actually. Probably. They don't really care at Radio 2. If you turn up, they put you on, to be honest. It's from a CD called Long Gone Daddies. Loads of great rockabilly stuff, as I mentioned earlier. And there's the, the Pat Cup tracks and the Danny Boy. And who else is on there? Oh, Mercy D, come back, Maybelline. Loads of classics, loads of stuff that I've played on the show before. The question is, and it's not that easy a question, who were the brothers that owned that group of labels? The RPM, Kent, Modern Labels. They also own the Meteor label, which I played from earlier on. Well, that was a different brother. And let's send it to, I don't know, let's have a daddy competition. Daddy competition, shake, rattle and roll, BBC Radio 2, Bebel Mill Road, Birmingham B57QQ. Daddy competition, shake, rattle and roll, BBC Radio 2, Pebble Mill Road, Birmingham B57QQ. If you know the three or four, I can't remember, brothers, I just want the family name, who owned that group of labels, and you can win a, com a, co a copy, a co I can't even think of the word there. We're going to say compilation, I mean, a copy of that CD, Long Gone Daddies. I've been chatting for quite a while now, so let's play a record. This is from Chicago. Jojo Williams with Rock and Roll Boogie. Jojo Williams with Rock and Roll Boogie, which was on the Atomic H label from Chicago, which, if memory serves me right, was um, Eddie Clearwater's uncle's label. There's some information that's going to... You know, if you're the phone a friend on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, that one, I'd write that down right now. Eddie Clearwater's uncle, only... A, I can't remember his name. He was a reverend. Reverend... Uh, C.L. Franklin. That'll have to do. That's actually Aretha Franklin's dad, but they're not going to win any money anyway. I wouldn't worry about it. If they're ringing up for that one, everyone knows that. Let's have a couple of doo-wop tracks. Here's the Isley Brothers. Oh, they're always great, aren't they? Always great. Everybody's going to rock and roll.
The Isley Brothers with Everybody's Gonna Rock and Roll, one of their first on Gone Records in 1958. And then we had the Sunbeams from 1957 on Acme. Not sure where that's from. I'm guessing that's also a New York recording. Not quite sure where the Acme label is from, but it sounded New York-y. Now, I'm rambling again, but let me just put this in your mind. On Radio 2 at the moment, I'm the only thing on. It's time to uh, go to this week's ballad, and we're going back to Chicago. Another beautiful bit of harmony, The Five Echoes with Fool's Prayer.
sounded uncannily like the Flamingos, and I think that's because uh, Earl Lewis was the lead singer of both groups. I'm pretty sure he's the singer on that one. An amazing lineup, actually, in the Five Echoes. They also had Tommy Hunt, who was later in the Flamingos, and Johnny Taylor, who went on to have all those uh, hits for Stacks back in the late 60s. That was from 1955, the Five Echoes with Fool's Prayer. Um, I think I've probably got time to give out the competition details again. The question was, who were the group of brothers who owned the uh, modern Kent RPM group of labels? And the address was Shake, Rattle and Roll, BBC Radio 2, Pebble Mill Road, Birmingham B5 7QQ. Can't remember what I called a competition now. But, you know, that, that, that's what a competition should be. You should have been listening to find out what the competition was called. What was it called? Dad, oh, Daddy Competition. Oh, yeah, oh, that's sending shivers up my spine now, I think of it. Daddy Competition. I don't like it when people call me Daddy. Shake, Rattle and Roll, BBC Radio 2, Pebble Mill Road, Birmingham, B5, 7WQ. I'll give out the website again, www. But I'll do it like I don't care. www.bbc. No, I'll do it probably because it's, uh, it's like uh, electronics and technology in there. www.bbc.co.uk slash Radio 2. And the information line. No, I'm tired of that one. Uh, stay tuned. Yes, that's right. Stay tuned for Richard Allenson. And next week, I'll be doing one of my New Orleans specials. So join me then, if you please. <laughs>